Hi you lovely people out there. Welcome to my channel Ram's Kitchen. I love cooking and I've had the knowledge of cooking since I was nine years old. I have my son Kevin, my cameraman, and would like him from time to time learn the basic skills, you know. Right now he's a perfect banana bread maker which he learned from his life skills class. One day I'll get him to do it for you guys and he'll do it all by himself under my supervision. All right, right now let's get straight to the cooking. I came home today from work. They said they want to eat dal puri and uh, mutton uh, lamb curry, lamb, curry lamb with uh, potatoes and dal puri so I'm gonna make that today okay so let's get straight to the ingredients for this lamb curry I have here some green seasoning in the blender here I have four cloves of garlic three wiri pepper one is a flavored wiri pepper not so hot but very flavorful I have a small white onion half a red onion I have some green onions for the finishing touch when the curry almost finish I have about a thong and a quarter lamb here uh, lamb I have three potatoes this this is used to make the curry this is a Indy special madras curry in this model this is turmeric or dye as you call it this is jeera or cumin this is garam masala oil i have some of these spices which i'll see put a little speck in the meat to give it a bit more boost i have black pepper cajun red pepper paprika ginger and garlic salt and it's all clubhouse the ginger is president choice but yeah blend up this garlic and these three peppers here in this blender with a green seasoning married man thick leaf thyme i use the dry the dry the uh, Try to find leaf thyme. I like using this because to me it's more stronger than the fresh one. This is all blended up. I'm gonna put a little in the meat here. Leave a little for the masala. Add some dry thyme. A little garlic salt. Brown ginger. Paprika Red peppers A 
black pepper. Yeah, John. I'm gonna mix this up together. I need some salt also. And some salt. Yummy there, Mike. Yeah, getting there. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix the masala. Okay. For the uh, curry. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna put on the oil. Oil. So this meat here, it's a uh, lean meat, so you gotta put a little. So I'll put about four tablespoon of oil. Okay, four tablespoons oil. there one teaspoon masala it all depends on the amount of meat you have and, and fish whatever you cook you know that that goes with the, the masala and the yeah other ingredients right yeah one teaspoon of jeera or cumin half a teaspoon turmeric turmeric bye okay, okay. And two teaspoons of curry powder. Two teaspoons. And curry. this is Indi Madras curry. This came from Guyana. I like cooking with this. Yep. So you add that together there. Then you mix, mix it, things. blend it together there. Now, what I do for my curry, I add my salt inside the masala. I never, I don't add it on top of okay. the curry, right? Okay. Afterwards, okay. the taste, if it's less, then you can add a little tox, but I always add it inside the masala. Oh, okay. So, I add about a quarter teaspoon of salt there. Oh, okay. Mix it up there, and I'll add these rest of seasoning I have in here. Oh, okay. Your green. Throw a little water in here. Mix it up. Okay. Everything out there, and this is the sweetness, right? Yep, the sweetness. I of get it. most of it off. Okay, so mix this, combine this together. Add some onion. white onion the red one gonna go at the top of the meat when you throw it in yeah and you mix it up all right i think the onion should be about hot there okay and here we go Let's do it 
put it in there. Everything on. I'm gonna let that thin out. Fry. Fry. The masala got a bungee. Bunja. Yep. Hey guys, this masala is fried up properly. You gotta fry it up to, you know, cook. Now I'm gonna add the meat. I, I, I don't add the potatoes yet because the meat gotta boil a little. So by the time I finish here, I'm gonna peel the potato and then put it in. And it's how long does the meat process. have to boil for that? Well, it depends on how old the goat is or the sheep <laughs> exactly. is, right? <laughs> yeah, how old is it? All right. Uh, okay, so, okay. We're gonna watch it and see. Watch it and see, okay. So, we're gonna leave this to fry up there. The meat gonna lose its water and then I, I'm gonna start peeling the potato now. Okay, so let's get done with this. I like putting away my stuff as I finish. So at the end, everything is done. That's the way to do it. Do it, yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start peeling the potato and I'll wash it and we'll get there, right? Okay, so see you guys when the potatoes are done and all the stuff. So the meat is almost dry there from the water of the meat so I'm gonna add the potatoes now right sometimes you, you add the potatoes and sometimes the potato got boiled before the meat you know if it's a whole something you know <laughs> yeah but um, you can always take out the potato back for it not to if you don't want to mash up in the curry right exactly so yeah. I'm gonna add some hot water here now and cover it to bite okay so this is half a stick of salted cooking butter so I'm gonna melt it in this dish here I'm gonna use about half of this to throw in my flour to mix my dal puri I'm not gonna make a lot, just about five or six. All right? So let me just melt this and we start the process. This is the dal for the dal puri. This is already pre prepared. I always uh, prepared it and, and get it in the freezer in small parcels. So when I'm ready to cook, I just take out one and use an amount and you know put it back or something this is <coughs> split peas blended with uh, jeera or cumin garlic wiri pepper and it's all combined together crumbed with the dal and mixed and that's what i keep in the freezer because in these countries you know you cooking you got you got to plan ahead right so that's what I, I did here so this would have taken another half hour an hour to do so I've done it I just took it out and defrost it and I'm gonna use it in the dal puri okay so for the dal puri I have four cups of all-purpose flour here I'm gonna throw the half a melted uh, butter stick in here the rest I'm gonna use to oil the dal puri I'm gonna throw that's about a tablespoon of baking powder I know the average all yeah. cook Yep. I'm gonna put some garlic salt flavors and I told you guys about flavor okay, you gotta flavor the food A little salt some black pepper black pepper a little not much
reduce this heat here and I'll go ahead and mix this I'll mix this and uh, prepare the dal puri so see you guys then okay guys the meat is boiled potatoes are boiled I'm gonna add the green onion now on top and leave it another two minutes I'm gonna cover it and leave it a little bit gravy because these kids love gravy right so that's it see you then so guys here the four cups of flour give me seven dal puri already filled and ready to go I'm gonna start cooking it here I put on my little canary here I don't use a tower the reason why this has the bar here around so they like the oil don't get on my stove or whatever right so I like this here and it's thick it's just like a tower made in Canada stuff okay so I'm gonna start rolling this one here getting it ready nice and easy you got a doll inside you don't want to burst and I don't make it mine too big because the kids don't like it big you know homemade you know this you eat one or two and you okay the commercial ones two of you gotta eat one okay, here we go I'm gonna put this on now put some oil in the pan here Butter and oil. Put some flour, you know, in the piece and then the yeah. piece and fork now. Yeah. And the dollar comes out, right? Yeah. Here you go. Burn this here. See the oil won't spill out here. Now if I had a flat tower, the oil would uh, you know, with the brush, you know, spill out. Yeah. Okay. Turn this back. Not here, but here. Here we go. Oh wow. And you mash it. Yeah. So you can cook properly. It too white, you want it a little brown, you know. Yeah, there is it. Dal puri cooking, raise in, and you turn it the other side. Do I like it brown, nice and brown. Nice and brown, exactly. This is up here. the other side here right nice and bright nice yeah that's how we look like how it. it's fluffing up guys it's nice look how it's fluffing up looks good it looks appetizing it looks like the heat now. ready to 
another turn. Look at that. Never cook properly as long yes. as it's raised right around. Raised right around. It's cooked properly. Yeah. Okay, this one is done, so I'm gonna wow. put it over here. Fold it after. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna put on the next one. You guys are gonna see it. And after I finish the rest, then we're gonna taste. Tasting time. Right? So let's uh You roll it, you gotta spin it, spin. you know, dance a little bit, so you know, yeah. you know? Yeah, you gotta make, have fun while you cook. Like a lot of love when love, you Love, yeah, you love know? is the main key. PR, PR. There's a lot of... And about how long does that the doll puree have to cook for? As long as it's swell and... Swell, yeah, around the edges then. Yeah. Properly, yeah, it's, it's you know, yeah, no time span, yeah, just, you know, exactly. Just have to use your initiative, right? Yeah. Look, it's starting to swell. Well, I love this color, you know, I love the Okay guys, so I'll put this there and I'll see you after it's all done. Okay guys, I'm gonna take out some samples now. I leave it in the pot because the kids them gonna eat and then the rest you're gonna empty after. Okay and then. Take out some samples here. I'm gonna try it. See how it goes. Okay, this is a seven dot dal puri that I made. All nicely folded. Okay. I'm gonna take one out. Goes all, all over the place. I'm gonna take this first one out there. And here we go. Break it. Try the potato first. Oh, potato is loose. The gravy. Mmm. Oh man. How can it be better than this? Hmm. I'll try a piece of meat now. Make sure it's all uh, boiled properly. Together with the potato, some some uh, green onions, and here we go. Mm -hmm. I like heaven. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna close this video now. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget. So for the um, subscribe subscribe and um, turn on the bell notification turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified anytime I um, post a video I post a video and um, you guys have a great evening bye bye.